Now it's time to pick up where we left off. After a long journey through North Star Road and out of the not so black canyon, we made our climb up to Snow Lake through ice and snow flurries. The challenge ahead would test our recovery skills and most importantly our patience. This tundra has impressed me since day one, but I really got to see its true potential over the next few hours pal driving through the snow and leading the group. pretty cool it holds up to its name definitely a lot of snow here which is why we are going to pass on this uh, camp spot uh, we're gonna continue there's 50 more miles to reserve so we're gonna try to make some distance today and then maybe find camp but it's like 21 degrees right now not ideal for setting up camp I don't think any of us are feeling this too much this dog is that dog's so smart, man. Brian is she was looking at me through my windows at a truck <laughs> hit this huge snow drift I got stuck up there Brian's stuck Bailey's gonna send it but he is unfortunately undoubtedly gonna get stuck so we'll see how he does not bad a little further than me but it only gets deeper up there too it's almost four feet of snow drift I don't think it's happening A lot of people bash Harbor Freight quality tools, but I think this synthetic line budget winch is the way to go. It might have been my first use with this winch, but overall I was impressed with the quality and the ability to pull these two Tacomas out so easily. I don't know. Oh, 
Well, Brian's out, Bailey's out. I don't even know if you can hear this. It is so windy up here. That way, that way is Chloride Canyon and Reserve, the way we were initially gonna go. But yeah, there's a four foot snow bank and if they can't make it through, I can't make it through. So we're gonna come back off the mountain uh, and probably just go back into Chloride Canyon and find a camp somewhere lower elevation where it's not so damn cold. After we had learned that the fate of this trip had already been determined, the boys and I decided it would be best to backtrack back down towards Snow Lake and find lower elevation for better or for worse. The snow had finally let up, which was great, but after an hour long recovery, we were tired and cold. It was a long six hour drive back down out of the Gila Pass and our fuel situation was not optimistic. I had not considered the resistance from the snow only made fuel mileage worse. Had we made it through the pass, reserve would have only been 45 miles away. Now we were faced with a 110 mile drive to the nearest fuel station. At some point descending into Snow Lake, I split us off of Chloride Canyon Road onto Snow Lake Road, which I would soon learn was a much more gentle road than Chloride Canyon which we took back down out of the pass towards State Route 59. desperate on fuel I'm just over a quarter tank so are the other boys and they've only got five gallons between the three of us spare um, I was hoping that you know that pass wouldn't have been snowed in and we could have made it to reserve and gotten fuel but that's not happening so what we're doing now is we're going straight to Winston we're on asphalt we're gonna fuel up in Winston camp somewhere near there it's already six o'clock which is a bummer. I hate I hate getting camp set up in the dark, but um, fuel is priority. I will know next time. Jerry cans are a must, even though they leak something crazy. But we're gonna stop in Winston, get fuel, maybe find a little saloon. We can get a bite to eat. We're gonna go find a camp spot. By some miracle, talking about that, we made it from Winston all the way because Winston did not fuel. Now we're in Elephant Butte. You can see the boys' trucks are just covered. So I'm really fortunate that we didn't run out of fuel, but I was really thinking we would. Well, we're all fueled up here in uh, Elephant Butte. Um, the plan is to go head down to Truth or Consequences right now and uh, stop at a little Mexican restaurant because we're all really hungry. We've been driving for like 10 hours. Um, so we're gonna do that, go get some Mexican food, and then maybe go camp down by Elephant Butte Lake. Well, we got some grub in our guts. Um, we found a little camp spot. I'm not gonna reveal where we're at until the morning, 
because it's going to be really beautiful in the morning under underneath the drone. Um, so we're going to get camp set up and I'll check back with you in the morning. You know if you guys want me to kill these lights, because I can kill them. Yeah. Yeah.